you know, he, I could lose him any day. And it hurts me because I'm not with him. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're back in Barstow, California, and we're here with Roxy. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Roxy, do you give us permission to use this video on our social media? I do. I want to mention a couple of things. <laughs> All of you who have subscribed to the channel, I want to thank you so, so much. Please don't forget, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you like the content. And please share if you can. Thank you so much. All right, Roxy, let's get into it. Um, where were you born? I was born in Fontana. Fontana. Yes. Yeah? Yes. What was Fontana like? Um, it's my city, so it's beautiful, <laughs> of course. I know Fontana very well. Did you uh, go to high school there? Yes, I did. Fontana High School. Did I you? The Steelers? Yes, sir. And I graduated. <laughs> Fontana has some of, in the late 80s and 90s, they had some of the best football teams, I think, in the country. Did you know they were legendary? Um, as far as yes. football goes? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Fontana. Shout out to Fontana. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what year did you graduate? 97. 97. You're young. Um, how old are you? Um, I am 44 years old. 44. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, do you remember school? Were you a popular girl? Um, no, I was more like, um, I used to get picked on, bullied, and um, just pretty much to myself. But my family is very well known there. Um, everybody knows my family. Um, it's because, you know, they're representing. Yeah. But I kind of like stood from the trouble and stuff. And, you know, whenever they needed me, I was there. I was like a fighter for them, for my yeah. girl cousins. But when you say representing, what do you mean? Um, they represent Fontana. They oh. love their city. Oh, is there, were they uh, gang affiliation? Um, yes, they are. Yeah. They really are. Yeah. Would you rather not talk about it or can you? Um, it? Well, I'm not going to disclose that because, um, you know, yeah, not, I understand. Yeah. It's kind of touchy with gang stuff. Yeah. I've, I've been threatened before, so that's why I don't really discuss it, it too much. It's not pretty much being threatened. It's just like, I don't I don't need to put my family out yeah, there. No you problem. know. It's, what gangs are in Fontana, though? Um, well, it's been a minute. Like, I'm not really gang affiliated like that. It's just my family is. But okay. the thing is, I don't get into that topic. Like, yeah. But I know of them. Yeah. and about all the stuff i know uh i was in bloomington for a long time there's the Blumas in bloomington have you heard of them yes i did and ontario also has i got <laughs> i pretty much got jumped by blue moss <laughs> oh, right, yeah also ontario has some pretty uh scary gangs over there were you ever in a gang though no okay That's no good. um without speaking on gangs i do have a question you know when a woman or a girl wants to get jumped in a gang do they have to i've heard stories that they either get you know, uh, beaten for a certain amount of seconds, or they get they have to have sex with the whole gang. Is that <laughs> have you heard of that? Um, I have heard of that, um, but me personally, um, I've never seen it because oh. I'm not all into that. Yeah. Like I said, you know, it's to myself. But when my girl cousins needed me, or if they needed me, I was I was there. You know, I was. But I did hear of stuff like that, and it does go on. What did you do after high school? Well, after high school, I pretty much got pregnant when I was 17, um, graduated with my son in my arms, <laughs> and I started working right away and pretty much took care of my son, which he's 26 now. Um, very good kid. Um, just always worked. I worked and um, was a good mom and took care of what I had to take care of. That's good. I was a single mom. You only have one child? No, I have six now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or how was your upbringing? My upbringing was my mom was strict. Um, I had a hard life with her, me and my brothers. Um, she currently disowned me and my brothers for probably about, it's been about six, seven years for me. Okay. Um, yeah, so we have no um, communication with her. She's just, I don't know why she's like that. I guess because us three kids were not from her previous, her recent relationships so yeah so okay. you know i guess we remind her of my real dad <laughs> i oh, guess I'm, so uh, I'm not too sure i couldn't tell you straight up but that's what everybody's saying yeah did you um were you abused at all growing up 
Um, no, I was not abused, but my mom was mean to me. <laughs> yeah. Neglected at all? Um, not neglected. Okay. My mom never did that. She was a good mom and she took care of us. She was just a mean, strict mom. <laughs> okay. Were you ever in foster care? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. And when you were in school, uh, were you in any kind of programs? Were you in gate or special ed or anything no. like that? No, just, just did my general studies and graduated and that was it. What were your dreams? Um, well, when I was going to school, it was to be a lawyer. Really? What kind of lawyer? <laughs> just a lawyer I didn't know yet. I can see you being a lawyer. <laughs> well, I'm a restaurant manager. That's were what, you? Yeah, that's what my career was for a good minute. That's great. Yeah. All right, now I want to ask you what happened that led you to uh, your current situation? Um, life. <laughs> um, it's kind of a touchy subject because my stepdaughter and my my daughter, they felt some type of way because their dad went to jail because basically their dad almost um, killed me and my kids were taken from, from my care because he was in jail. Um, CPS took my kids, but it took me a year and six months to get my children back. But through the courts and by the grace of God, I did get my kids back. Um, and it's on paperwork. And then I fell into a relationship where the guy abused me a lot. So my kid, I ended up going to a home. My kids end up staying with my ex-husband and they're currently there now. But like when, after I got out of the home, I was doing good, had a job, went to go see my kids. He told me I could stay there with my kids, but no relationship, which I didn't want a relationship with him no more. But he felt some type of way and started acting up on me again, and then he went to jail again. So my stepdaughter and my daughter called, you know, put a restraining order on me, and basically I was out of the house. So that led me to being here in the streets today. Yeah, so. Why have you been on the street? Two years. Okay, and you, how long have you been in Barstow? Um, I've been in Barstow a couple years back, but um, I left and then I currently came back because my brother was staying over here and my brother recently got locked up. Um, we kind of got set up or someone set us up and my brother is currently still in jail right now. And then I met my boyfriend here, so I'm here and- How long have you been with your man? Um, I was with him, well, we were with each other and then we broke up uh, for probably about seven months and then we just got back together again, so. Okay. And you guys are homeless? No, we are not homeless. Yeah. Um, we just, how would I say this, um, do a little hustling to get by because we're we're, we are going through a hard time. Yeah. yeah. Are you currently abusing anything? or using anything? Yes, um, I'm not gonna lie, I do use. The only thing I do use is meth, that's about it. Um, on a daily basis, I don't shoot up or anything, you know, I do smoke. <laughs> you think it's progress progressively getting worse and worse, like you're needing more of it, or you think is it pretty stable, like every day the same amount? It's pretty stable, I've always been a function functioning addict, even when I was working, um, but, when I go through things, I tend to use a whole lot more. When my feelings are hurt, going through something, I just tend to use a whole lot. <laughs> are you going through some stuff right now? Um, I am, but I'm trying to conduct myself and not so much fall into that category again where I am keep using and using and it gets out of control. Um, have you been sober in the last two years or have you been using continuously? I've been using continuously. Have you ever had periods of sobriety? Um, yes, I have. Yeah. Um, when my brother was locked up, before he got locked up this last time, he was locked up the time before that. <laughs> and um, he came out and not too long ago, I ended up in the hospital because they found blood clots in my lungs. And my brother found out about it. So when he got out, he said, let's get sober. So I tried to get sober. I tried and I did, but he came back dirty and it's, I was just like, it. So I started using again too when how I was coming down you, hard. <laughs> how long were you sober? Um, about four days. <laughs> Let's say you want to get sober. Do you know where to go here in Barstow? Um, I can do it myself. You can do it yourself? I have many times. Have you tried that fentanyl or are you staying away from that? I stay away from that. Um, Please stay away from that. Yes. Yes, I do stay away from that. I don't even like to be around people that smoke it. <laughs> 
How do you make money out here? Um, sometimes it's a little hard. Um, I mean, I always been like a woman of my word where I pay people back and I always had a job and I always had money and help people out. So people tend to help me out still. But sometimes when they don't, um, you know, like if I have something, you know, to take back to the store to get what I need to get, um, I will and get my money back. But I try not to do that. But I also have like kind of like a little gambling habit. So I kind of gamble online. And um, I get my money that way too sometimes. <laughs> you make money? Yeah, you yeah. can, yeah, gamble online and yeah, wow. you win and I hit jackpots and shit like that. So yeah. Hey, you know, bar, I've noticed a lot of people here in Barstow gamble online. So, uh, you got must yeah. be into something. Yeah, they, um, they do. You know, you could gamble from $5 on up, you know, depending how much you have. What do you like to do for fun? Um, Put your mind away. Well, I just pretty much, I'm always a laid back, um, chill person, staying at home. I don't really like to be out in the streets, out and about, known, you know. People know me because of my brother and then my boyfriend. Um, and then where I was staying at, because I was staying in a, um, they would call it a trap house. Mm -hmm. I didn't call it a trap house, but they did. Yeah. But it was my friend's house. <laughs> but, yeah. So I pretty much like to be to myself. What kind of music do you like? Um, I like all kinds of music. I like R&B, oldies, rap. Um, I do like to go to the bar, drink, yeah. you, you know. Been a cool concert? Um, yes, I have. I've been to E40. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, they're in Oregon. <laughs> oh, in Oregon? You're in Oregon? Yes, sir. What city? Uh, Madras. Madras, Oregon. It's a little, little town. Oh, okay. Yeah. I lived in Cottage Grove for a while. What are you most proud of, Roxy? That I don't give up. <laughs> I don't give up, and my kids, um, grateful that my kids still have, um, they still believe in me. Yeah. Do you believe in a higher power? Yes, I do. Do you? Yes. Do you go to church? I used to. Yeah? Yep. I used to go to Victory Outreach in, in the home for 10 months. Yeah. Does your boyfriend treat you good? Oh, yes. Oh yes, he does. He. That's awesome. He seems like a really nice guy. He is. He does treat me good. Um, what do you look for in a relationship? Um, basically, I don't want to get hit. <laughs> don't let you know. And no woman likes to get hit. Um, basically, I don't need to be out and about in the streets. Um, if I need to get something, um, my man needs to do it. But I understand. On you know, there's. You know, you both got to work at something, you know, to help each other out. But um, basically, he gets me what I need and um, puts a roof over my head and feeds me. And, you know, we do it together. You know, we're in cahoots with each other. When you were a little girl, what brought you joy? What did you enjoy doing? I was a little tomboy, so I had two brothers, and I'm the oldest. So it was always like wrestling with my brothers. I don't know. It's just me and my brothers are crazy. <laughs> we would always ride the dirt bikes. Um, yeah, ride our quads. Um, quads? Yeah. You guys are spoiled, huh? <laughs> yeah, go to the lake. Yeah, my mom did a lot of activities with us, made us, um, we were always out and about. Beach, you know, barbecue. What's Love your favorite bar beach? Um, I don't have a favorite beach, but we used to go, to, we used to be going everywhere. Yeah. And always barbecuing. Do you want to give that life to your children too? Oh, yeah, they have it. Um, do they? they do have it. You know, even with me not being there, but I want to still give it to them. I still want to be there and, you know, accomplish a lot too. Can you tell me a 24 hour day in the life of Roxy from getting up to going to sleep? Okay, well, now I do sleep because my boyfriend makes me. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, because I don't like sleeping alone. So I have a boyfriend. So, you know, he makes me, he's, you know, he takes good care of me. It's good. You know, makes me get sleep. I wake up pretty much um, to my to my drugs, I'm not gonna lie. Smoke, get ready, start seeing what I could do to get some money. People cash at me, friends, you know, and that's how I get money. And then my boyfriend pretty much sleeps a little bit later, so I'm pretty much up by myself for a minute until he gets up. And then when he gets up, we basically, um, get something to eat, you know, and then we go on our day, listen to music. Um, I was working for a while, just recently lost 
that little job I had under the table job because I went to jail, just got out on Tuesday. Um, so I was doing that for a while, but I no longer have that, so I'm looking for a job now. <laughs> if someone's watching this and they can offer you a job or help, um, do you have any special talents or skills? Yes, um, I have manager skills. Um, I know how to do payroll, bookkeeping, oh, wow. um, inventory. Roxy, give us an email. Do you have an email? Yes. Address you could share? Yes. What it, is it? RosanneP177 at gmail.com. So you're a manager before, huh? Yes. Restaurant manager. So you got natural skills. Yeah. My mom used to tell me that, like, I'm damn good and that I'm wasting my talent because I haven't picked up that yeah. talent again. I haven't went back to managing. But I can honestly say I was pretty damn good. Awesome. <laughs> I would I even fired my cousin. Did you? <laughs> Hell yeah, you ain't doing your job right. I'm not gonna risk my shit for you. <laughs> you know. What's your favorite kind of food? Um, I like I like Mexican food. Yeah, do you know how to cook? Yes, I do. Any good Mexican restaurants in Barstow? Um there is, but not like Fontana. down the hill. <laughs> yeah. What was your go to place in Fontana? Um, well I like going to Tom's. Okay, in Fontana? Mm-hmm, and then the Marisco's place, the Las Playas. What street's that on? Um, that is on Foothill in Fontana. Okay, they have a bunch of restaurants on Sierra. They have that um, that uh, Salvadorian dish. What's that called? Papusa. Oh, that's bomb. Yeah. But but oh, that's not Hispanic. You know, that's, yeah. um, that's Salvadorian. Not, that's, that's but but really, that stuff is bomb, yeah. yeah. Fontana has a lot of those restaurants. Mm. Yeah, and then Menudo. It's really good. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Why is that? Um, it's just a very pretty color. Like. Yeah. You, so you've been to a good concerts. Do you still like the club? Do you still like the club? Um. Yeah. Sometimes it yeah. depends. Um. I just haven't went lately or yeah. did anything like that. I'm pretty much um, not in that scenery right now. Yeah. You know. Where would you like to see yourself in two years, Roxy? Um. I would like to see myself um, having my kids with me and um having my own spot again, pretty much having my life back together with my boyfriend. <laughs> so how long have you been dating? Um, well, on and off, a little bit, probably like a year and four months. Okay. Yeah. You ever had a bad online dating experience? No, but I had a bad dating experience. I did. <laughs> yes. um, pretty much, I was talking to this guy for a minute. He um, used to... He used to drive a liquor, you know, deliver liquor to the high desert. And um, we were talking, never did anything, very respectful. We were taking it slow. And then the one time we did try to do something, um, I just couldn't, um, couldn't do it. Like I had to walk out and I pretty much was embarrassed for him. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that, but wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. I yeah. can honestly say, yeah. So you've had a rich life, a lot of things going on. Any other experiences you'd like to share that you had? Um, yes, um, had a, well, kind of a bad experience, but, um, hopefully it's a good outcome, you know, about my son, you know, he, I could lose him any day, and it hurts me because I'm not with him, and I feel so, so bad because he needs me. He had a blood clot in his brain and he collapsed at school. He's only 12. And after that, they removed the blood clot. He recovered and now his heart is weak. And his heart's so weak where he has to wear a life vest. The life vest helps his heart regulate itself. So if it irregulates, it pumps it back. So he don't collapse and die on me. But his dad has him right now, but that right there is, it's dramatic. I'm so Life. sorry about that. Yeah. Is that one of the things you're struggling with when you're out here? Um, yes, because it's like if I get a phone call saying anything happened to him and I'm not there, oh, I don't know what I'll do, you know. I don't want that to happen. And thank God he's good. But I do try to talk to him every day and try to message him every day, make sure he's fine. You know, but if they do call me, anything happens, I am there. <laughs> I, I go straight over there. You I know. Tell you, a great mother. I'll be praying for him too, as well as yourself. Thank God you. God bless both of you. Thank you. Has this interview helped you at all? Um, Talking about your feelings and your experiences. 
Well, I pretty much could talk about my feelings to my boyfriend. He's pretty much a good listener. Um, he does help me. I thank God for that. I never had. I mean, I had it, but not like the way he is with me. Okay. He's very much different um, than anybody I ever been with. All right, Roxy. God forbid one of your daughters uh, is thinking about trying drugs, and let's say you found a text or something like they're planning on hanging out and doing meth or whatever. How would you talk her out of it? Well, I'm a friend and a mom, but um, I'm a mom before I'm a friend. I would definitely get on to her, talk to her. I won't hit her. I'm not going to ground her. I'm going to talk to her and tell her, be 100 with her, you know, depending on their age, um, pretty much discuss on what happened to me. Because um, that hasn't happened with my daughter, but it has happened with my son. My son was going through things and he pretty much reached out to me and he really, really appreciated me to reach out to him and share my experience with him. Um, and that way he don't draw into what I drew into. Um, and he's a pretty good kid. All my kids are pretty much, my three oldest ones are graduated, car, job, out, out of their home. So I did something right along the line. <laughs> Oh, you just need a little help, Roxy. I think you're going to make it. I think so, too. Yeah. I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you for this interview. No problem. You have a good night, and be careful out here in Barstow. It's windy. Oh, yeah. It's getting chilly. <laughs>